Hello there everyone, the Andrade here, and welcome back to uh, All the Mods 9 to the Sky uh, Let's Play series, episode 30 this is, right? Uh, where today we are getting ourselves all the modium. We're getting it all completely automated from getting our first nine to get a block to an ore laser drill to, to automatically crushing it with a occultism merit crusher. Like we are getting all the modium. We've already, it's only been 30 minutes and I've already got over a thousand all the modium. It is ridiculous. Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderfully rainy day here in the world of the Andrada, where it rains one day and then it rains the next and then it rains the next because the rain never goes away. Literally about ready to do that weather cycle thing. Uh, anyway, uh, today we are going to work on getting ourselves all the modium. I think it's finally time. It's all the mods. So we need to start getting into all the modium and uh, progressing through that uh, aspect of our lives. OK, so let's get started. So uh, in order to do so, you can kind of see I've already got some things auto crafting and going on for us to get this process started. Um, but in order to get all the modium, OK, to get started with all the modium, we have to energize, energizing orb with power. These six things, OK, which they've been on our to do list for a while. Uh, nitro crystals, we've already gotten taken care of. So that's great. We don't have to worry about the nitro crystal portion. But we got to figure out how to make all of these other things, right? If I go in here and I go recipe here and I say this, um, I was hoping I could click the button and click plus and see what I already know how to make, um, because I think I know how to make some of these things, but I don't know how to make everything. But oh, well, I couldn't do it. Um, anyway, with that being said, we have things that we need to get done in order to do so. So we have nitro crystals taken care of, so we don't have to worry about that. And um, what we need is three of each of these in order to make ourselves a block, because this is the start to how to get to into all the modium but it's not the end goal right we want to make this passive we want to get all the modium just like we get um everything else automated how do we do so well if we take our all the modium blocks so we get nine of these things we can shove it into a laser drill just like we just did in uh last episode with our ether gas and we will get raw all the modium ore out of it which is passive and gets us all the modium uh, automatically with that being said processing this raw all the modium is uh either a we can just smelt it up and it's a one-to-one -one. granted we're going to get infinite of it but it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world or since we've already gotten ourselves up to the highest tier of occultism we can look into getting ourselves a married crusher and seeing if we can't 6x this at some point so that's our goals for the next couple episodes to work on those things that being said, let's dive on in. So for all the modium, what are we going to need? We are going to need nitro crystals. So let's go ahead and grab those. I need three of them. I have two in the system, so let's grab one more. Now I'm gonna obviously shove all these back into the system at some point, and apparently picking that up allowed me to complete those other quests. Um, but if I shove these or leave these here now, I can shove them back in later once we have all the things. But nitro crystal, check, okay? Soul infused ingot, I think I've teach, teached yeah, teach, uh, teach me, teach. I taught the system how to make those, so that should be pretty simple. Now, that was taught a long while ago when I was going through our induction smelter and adding all of the recipes for that into it. So we have soul infused ingots. Check. Uh, Diorum ingots. How do we make this? What is the recipe for this thing? Okay. So in order to craft these things, we are going to need arcane crystal dust. How do we get arcane crystal dust? Um, that is smelting up of arcane crystals. We have arcane crystals, 11,000 of them. So we can easily handle that. Uh, usage of you is to do this. So we can go ahead and shove that into our smelter. That's the crusher. Where's my smelting factory? You're a compressing factory. Do I not have a smelting factory? Oh, duh, nether furnace. What am I doing? Uh, the Andrade's Dingus. Okay, so we have our netherite furnace going. Um, that should take care of the arcane dust, right? So we're going to need a total of how much of this? The Diorum ingot is going to require two per, so we need six arcane dust. Yes, and you're going to smelt. That was so fast. By the way, I put a speed augment into this, which halves the cooking time, and this is already super fast. So, yeah, smelting is done really quick. Okay, but now we need to get the um, mund, Mundabiter dust, um, which honestly should be fairly simple because we have arcane crystal dust available to us. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to need to craft more phantom membrane. Don't tell me I just used my last phantom membrane. <sighs> no. Uh, 
That's terrible. Man, bat, bee, or parrot? Where am I going to find phantoms? Are you kidding me there, buddy? I used my last one, and I have the 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 thing that doesn't let make me make me need to sleep. Isn't there one of these that stops me from having to sleep? Or is it a necklace I'm wearing? Ah, uh, but then I'm gonna have to wait nights in order to get this done. Is it worth that? Do phantoms spawn in the Nether, or is that only in modified versions of? the end spawn like a better end that has phantom spawning i don't think phantom spawn anywhere else ah that was terrible i didn't realize that was phantom membranes that needed if i didn't knew that i would have emc'd it man that's a bummer um okay let's see hadron head i need an alley a bat a bee or a parrot for this which doesn't help at all how do i get a can I get a parrot spawn egg somehow? Sacrifice a chicken. Man, this is a... There are words that I cannot say because this is a family-friendly channel that I would love to say right now. That's, that's where we're at. Okay, we're going to go this route. It's going to pivot this entire episode here, uh, but we need to get phantom membranes. So not much I can do about this at the moment. Apologies for that. I was not paying attention. Um, but anyway, a cult ritual. We need to get Hedrian's Lure. Okay. Um, you just chill there. Hedrian's Lure. What are you? Do, 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 do. Um, I'm going to assume Abra's Commanding Conjure is going to be the best. We can just set up this whole thing. Uh, and you can go ahead and go right there. Okay. Again, these all look exactly the same at these tiers, don't they? Can I utilize one of those other circles for this? Like, can I just utilize this? Are they all the same at the base tiers? Yeah, they're all exactly the same. It's just the end outputs that are slightly different. So honestly, I didn't even need to set that one up, did I? Uh, yes, I... No, I didn't. It's literally the exact same thing as this. Whatever. It looks like they're all, they all match for the most part. Um, okay. Hedrian's uh, superficial lure or whatever it is. I need, uh, I need a feather. I need an egg. I need blue dye. I need green dye. I need yellow dye. And I need red dye. Red dye. And a foliate book. All right. Foliate book. We need red dye. We need yellow dye. We need green dye. Blue. An egg. I should have eggs because we had a bunch of chickens at the beginning of the series and we definitely have feathers. Okay. And then I need a chicken. Uh, so I need a yoinker. And then I need chicken, so I need to go ahead and that's one chicken. Two chicken. I don't want to run into an issue where I need more chickens. So let's go ahead and pop chickens into here. Uh, we can take this wheat out. Jeez Louise, I was just about to get destroyed. Uh, and let's get some seeds. Put those in there. And then chicken, chicken. Feed them. Feed the chickens. Thank you. Make a baby so I can take one of you out. Nope, you don't go in there. You guys go in there. Interesting that they stack in here, but they don't stack in my inventory. Uh, that's you. You've got an ability totem. Good thing I don't need them. Chickens, hello. Are you going to do the thing or not? I don't got time to wait for you. I do not have time for nature to happen. I need to manually natureize you. There. Do it. Do we have a baby? We have a baby. All right. Bam. Okay. Got a chicken. So with that being said, I should now be able to do this summon now, right? Uh, clear, 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 clear. So that was the parrot spawn egg. Um... Yeah, other than the foliate book. Uh, I already grabbed the book. Okay. That's you, and you, and you. 
And luckily I made extra of the sacrificial bowls, so we because I figured we were gonna have recipes that were gonna take more. It's you, you, and that was it. Okay, yep. So now I just need to do that and that, and then we'll get a parrot. Catch the parrot. Okay. So we got a parrot going for us now. Shove that in the system. All right, what's next? Hadrian, what do you need? I need two leather, two feathers. Leather. Man, these boots again in the system. I swear I set up boots to not come into the system. Leather and... You know what I need to do is take a pair of these boots and then try and filter out using those. Uh, so leather and it was feathers. And then what kind of book did you want? Foley it again. Okay. Let's not mess this up this time. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, book, parrot, goodbye. And goodbye. There we go. We got membranes. Okay. And a possessed phantom charm reliquary thingy. Uh, feathers go away. We need this. The rest of you can go away. Now, we don't need this many, that many of these, but now I'm just annoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and say phantom membrane and there. And that can all go in there. And we'll start creating phantom memories. You're still doing good here? Yep. Um, I'm going to set you on an extract. Uh, but I need to be able to filter it. So let's do this. Extract this. Add phantom membrane. Submit. So now the only thing that can come out of there is phantom membranes. And then we'll go throw phantom membranes into a drawer. Perfect. Okay, back to our originally scheduled programming. Munda body, Munda 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 Duder Dust. Throw that into the system, and now we should be able to create Dioram ingots. Yes, um, I need charcoal specifically. Are you kidding? Why does everything gotta be so complicated? Um, let's get sure dark oak logs. Throw you into there. Charcoal up, okay. Could I have made charcoal? Yes, I have coal essence, but at this point, whatever. Uh, so I should be able to craft three of these. One, two, ah, man, I used that arcane dust is what it was. Just make a stack. I don't ever want to wait again. Okay, cool. Dioram ingots, done. Energetic alloy ingots. We got to get into ender IO. Primitive alloy smelting. Let's get a primitive alloy smelter going. We need deep slate. I should be able to craft deep slate, yes. Deep slate essence. There's a specific deep slate essence? How do I get deep slate? I should have deep slate going, right? Yeah, like deep slate is one of these. That's you. What do I need for this primitive alloy? I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Primitive alloy smelter, smelt, 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 smelter. Okay, so that takes care of that. That's an intro to Ender IO. I have not used Ender IO in so long. I honestly do not know how to use it at all. Um, but all I need is three of these things. So for now, that's that's what we're doing. I'm just getting us to that point where I can make these things. Okay, so primitive alloy smelter. Let's get some coal. It's primitive. Sure, that charcoal we just used. We can go ahead and throw that in there. Um, and we need redstone, gold, and glowstone. Redstone, gold, glowstone. And I don't know why I grabbed so much redstone. Okay. You three go in there, and then we do that. And we should have our three energetic alloy. Perfect. Okay. Done. Uh, flux infused ingots. As far as I know, these are the easiest ones to craft, right? Uh, that's just flux infused dust. Flux infused ingot should just be the only problem with that is I'm going to have to get gold dust going, right? I need flux infused dust and I need three gold dust for that. 
So get that done. Then I should be able to make three of these and then throw that into here. Okay. So then we have flux infused ingot. And then finally, we need refined glowstone. And that's just throwing glowstone into our osmium compressor that I have set up over here conveniently because I needed it for my uh, refined, uh, refined glowstone or refined obsidian. So we need glowstone. One, two, three. And there we go. And we have refined glowstone. With those materials, those six, we should now be able to craft ourselves up our first set of all the modium. I do need to do this to make sure I could just teach the system this and I don't have to worry about it. And it's a little lazy, but I don't have to actually manually click on things. And I'm a fan of not having to click on things. So that's you. That's you. <laughs> Look at me. I had already taught the system how to make all the modium. <laughs> I'm on top of my game, even though I just did the recipe again. So that means I'm not on top of my game, but hey, whatever. All right, so all the modium. We should be able to craft nine of these bad boys. It's on blocking mode, so it should do the thing. Look how fast that goes. It's beautiful. Nine all the modium crafted up. Give me the good stuff. All the modium ingot. Okay. Now all we got to do is take that and do this, and we end up with all the modium block. That's not a quest. Man, you would think that would be a quest. Um, getting started. Is that part of getting started? or laser base. I just need to pick that up and then it's time. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the things that I was making earlier. Industrial foregoing. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab this and we're going to grab this. That is the ore laser base, the efficiency add-ons, 12 laser drills. We're going to go a little bit crazier with our laser drills this time. Um, we are going to need a ender gate. You might as well just go nitro tier ender gate out of my way, please. Now, are you nitro? Are you nitro? Are you nitro? You're nitro. Okay. Uh, nitro tier here. We know how to make all those things. Apparently that oh, unlocked a bunch of quests for us. So yeah. Um, open slots. There should be some. And let's go ahead and make a nitro ender gate. Throw those into the backpack. And we could get into flux networks, but honestly, I'm not too upset with using these. Uh, and yeah, that should be everything that we need to get this set up. We can go ahead and pop this stuff. Uh, I guess we're finally expanding into our f final area over here, but we can go ahead and get this going. OK, so unlike the other setup, we don't necessarily need to have anything on the bottom here. So what we need to do is get our laser base set up. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, you can make this into a cube where you can put some on the bottom facing in and on the top. I don't know how much of this we're going to need ultimately. So I don't know if that would it be prudent for me to set myself up for that. Um, and then probably. So that means I would need to set the laser base here in case I need to expand. Um, and add a top and a bottom layer to this and everything, I now have the capability. Let's go ahead and do as we did before. And then we can get our drills, but this time we're going to set up uh, the expanded setup of this because we know we're going to want this to operate much faster than the ether gas one is. So we're going to do this, but then we can also do this, 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 There we go. And again, like I said, we can craft, we can make this three high. So I could do three here and then I can do the same thing on the bottom and you can make a nine by nine, but you can see all the little particle effects are doing the thing. They're all going where they need to. Uh, nope. Get out of there. You're going to get that and you're going to get that. Uh, on this, it says the depth does not matter, right? So, or laser, I'm um, sorry, that comes from this thing. You minimum zero max 319 so in any biome so as long as i have it somewhere it's going to work all the modium block is what i need to put into here so the only thing that we need now is power right that's literally all that we're missing on all this so let's go ahead and get our nitro cables
There we go. And then our nitro gate. Keeping in mind, remember, these are each going to be using a thousand RF per. Uh, so it can be it's going to be quite expensive ultimately to do this setup, uh, especially with this many. And this isn't even capped out, right? We can get even more of these going. Luckily, adding the add ons doesn't increase the cost of the power generation or the power usage. So it, it's always beneficial to add the add ons if you can, even if you're strapped for power. We do need to go check our power because, again, remember, we don't want the wither milker to to stop. Um, and it's actually not too bad. We have eight of those already, so it's not not too terrible. I forgot I expanded this. We should be more than fine. We're literally only using the power of one of these fully. Yeah. OK, we're we're, we're chill. I forgot I expanded those out. OK, so now all we have to do is get this all the modium into our system. Now we're going to take this all the modium and we're going to do some other stuff with it. Uh, but I just need to get an ender, not tank, an ender chest. Set on a zero, 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 throw that on there and outputs. Oh, apparently we're getting Zycorium gems too. Push out the top and clear everything else. I do want to grab those. That's not a quest either. Okay. So with that being done, now we get the all the modium. So then our final step would be to uh, move this power. I don't like that there. Let's move you over there. Everything's happy now. Apparently, we're getting other ores, too. I, I didn't realize we'd get other ores out of this. Uh, we're getting coal ore and we're getting copper ore. So we're going to have to deal with those, too. What kind of ore are we going to get out of this, then? In the laser drill. So this just says all the modium. But if we look at the laser drill. Does empty get us stuff? It's like we're getting coal ore. What is this? Iridium. Or does the all the modium count as all of the. What's it called? Is there a quest that talks about that? The star. Maybe you. That's a Diorum block. I don't see all the modium in here. You get the star complete chapter two. OK, but what about. Industrial foregoing. I'm not getting any rewards from those, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't see. I don't see anything special about the all the modium block getting you all of the things. But we're, we're definitely getting more ores like now the copper ore we may have already had, but we definitely now have two coal ore. So we're getting more ore anyway. Uh, but that's beside the point. Our next major goal would be to get ourselves a Merid Crusher. How do we go about doing this? This guy is Fatma's incentivized attraction. Let's go check the recipe on this because it could be the exact same uh, thing as everything else now. Look, it is. So that's the same as. So the only thing that's slightly different is Osiren's, uh, Osorin's Unbound Calling. But Fatma's is the exact same. So we actually don't need the other one at all, apparently. They all come off of one. That is my mistake. I thought that each of the tiers had a different uh, design. So you could utilize, you know, the different tiers and have three recipes set up. But apparently they all look exactly the same. They all operate the same. So we don't have to do anything super special. So let's get ourselves a Merit Crusher. Block Diamond, Block Emerald, Block Esneum, Gas Tier. Diamond Block. Got it. Emerald. Got it. Uh, gas Tier. Not 64 of those. Got it. Esneum. Got it. And then it was a Merit Book. Got it. Bound it. Done it. Throw that in there. Toodaloo. Uh, okay, so we can go ahead and... Oh, are you kidding me, buddy? And that was yellow chalk. Gold chalk, sorry. Go into the bowl, please. There we go. And we're going to get a Merit or Crusher. We're going to capture him in a Mob Imprisonment tool, which is pretty easy to do. 
Ta-da! Ooh, Azok Murkred. Looks like an ocean dude. Uh, so anyway, we got a Merid Ore Crusher. And we can shift click and we can see all that he can do very fast. Note he does not have a durability, so I don't think this guy's ever going to despawn. But if we take our all the modium, uh all raw all the modium, if we do one of these, how much are you gonna give me, buddy? I think he's six X's it, right? Yeah. We got six all the modium dust from that. Um, which is great. We can get a lot of stuff out of that. So what we can do is we can take this guy, um, and all we need is, like, say, a modular router, two of these, uh, with a dropper, not a breaker module, a dropper module, and then we're going to want one with a vacuum module. We want the vacuum module so we can, like, specify exactly what it is we're going to vacuum uh, and then we're going to want senders or at least one sender to send it into our ae system and that should be all that we need uh let's go ahead and do this we're going to go ahead and box this area off our merit crusher can go ahead and chill here in a moment though so what i'm going to want let's grab our router First router can go here. It's going to have the dropper module on it, and it's going to want to drop the, all the modium ore. And then, so and we'll have AE2, we'll have it export into this, and then, or we can even set up an interface or something. We can set up polar. And then below that, we will set up the other router. This will be the vacuum module. And what is the vacuum module's range? Like, can I see the range? That would be nice. I know I'm going to want modular routers uh, let's get stack upgrades and let's get nine speed upgrades and two more stack upgrades that way it can go as fast as it can uh, and then we're also going to want that for the dropper right so it can drop an entire stack at a time so let's get nine more speed and then six more stacks and that's for you now, the vacuum upgrade, I believe there is a range. Fast pickup augment. Range up augment. Apparently, I need to teach the system something for this. I know our episode is getting a little bit longer in the tooth than normal, but I want to finish this off for the week. Uh, so that way I can let it AFK for a little bit and get us some of this stuff. Um, range upgrade. Where did that go? Um, at modular router. Oh, did I not teach the system the range up? No. I'm curious to know what this fast pickup does. Like, does that... I mean, I'm going to assume it picks things up fastly. Okay, the range augment, I don't know, let's get five of those. Oh, it crafts eight, and then fast pickup. It's probably going to craft eight of those too. No, okay, cool. Okay, so that being said, uh, range up augment, I think I have to put this in here, and those go in there, and then that goes there, fast pickup. Okay, so we can put a max of six, and then two, and that's going to make the range as max as it can. It is going to get filtered, though. The only thing that I want it to vacuum is this, and you're going to whitelist only all the modium dust. I don't want anything else to come in there. So if I go ahead and drop all the modium dust, oh, yeah, that immediately picked that up. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Okay, so if I get my Merid Crusher and have him chill there, and I get my Magnet, and you know what? Let's get a advanced magnet thingy so that my magnet doesn't work over here. A demagnetizing coil, that's what it's called. And we go ahead and throw that right there. And we maximize that range. I don't want to see... I don't want to pick up anything. Okay, so now my magnet shouldn't work in this area. So that should, uh, once I configure this to spit out to the front... And he picked them up and it's all getting sucked in. And look at that, all the modium coming in. All we need to do now is grab a mm, 
I think we're going to need an export bus and an import bus. Do we have a... We have an interface here. Man, I'd have to pipe all the way over to there, though. Uh, what about a sender module? Is that within its range? Come on, I want you to... I just need something to stand on really quick. No, come on, buddy. There, okay. Send it there, okay. Whew. All right, so that should send into the interface now. Hopefully, as long as that's within range. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so that sent it, so I don't have to worry about that. So now I just need and a polar, and I could just say keep those things in stock, right? All raw, all the modium. Keep it in stock. I mean, you can keep a whole stack, sure. I mean, it'll just pull whatever's available, right? And then I can have a polar. And then I don't even need to worry about any channels. I like that. Sorry if you're hearing the thunder going on. There's a thunderstorm. It's Florida. Okay. And then polar. I do want this polar to be filtered, though. Um, but you are a polar. But you are going to pull. Make sure only all the modium or whitelist. Okay. Now it is gonna it's gonna drop all of it for now, but he's pretty quick. So I think that it's gonna be okay. I don't think we're gonna have a despawn issue. Mm, it is concerning that it's dropping so much. I like it. Is there like a way to know for it to know how much is like in front of it? Like don't drop if I don't, a regulator augment, but I don't think that's going to, I don't know if that's going to be smart enough to know. There's so much, now it's, all, it's, what we're hearing happen is all of the other stuff come in. I don't think this is dropping a bunch. It's just all of the dust coming in. Okay. So then all we have to do is all this, all the modium dust. If I, is this used for anything? My issue would be if I export this, um, but no, it's literally only used to make this. So we could put an exporter onto this. I know it's going to use some of the channels, but that's not, or a channel and it's going to use uh, some of the slots on this, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, exporter, and you're going to export all the modium dust, and let's get an acceleration card, because eventually it's going to cap itself out at the speed that the the thing can run. Why were you struggling with power there, buddy? Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have a bunch of all the modium. We got a stack of all the modium. Perfect. I like it. We don't have to worry about it anymore. We have our Merid Crusher automated. We have uh, all the modium dust coming out. If we wanted to... Why is that not... Oh, you know what? Because I didn't set the back to be an input. There we go. Running out of power, though. I guess we need to upgrade these to the higher tier cables. So I'll work on doing that in between episodes because that's going to be an issue. Channels wise over here, how are we doing? We have used eight. We have no more channels. Okay, so we can't do anything extra special over here, um, but we're good. Okay, and he is still doing the thing. Hopefully, we don't have a whole bunch of that stuff despawning. I mean, he's doing about one a second. I mean, we have 630 all the modium already, so I'm not really concerned about it, even if some of it does despawn. Anyway, all right, uh, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. We're going to let him run and crush all that stuff up. We could even export other stuff at this point if we wanted to, um, but he kind of seems to be a little bit busy with the all the modium, so I'm not going to worry him too much. I'll fix the power that we have going on there and switch over to a higher tier of cable. 
Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I'm going to put the automatium in a drawer too, because it's definitely going to need to go in there. Um, but anyway, uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one. Have a good one.